Today I'm going to show you how to use a GPX file from any smartphone with GPS and sync that up in Lightroom 4 to geotag your photos. So you can do this instead of buying a, an expensive GPS device that plugs into the camera uh, you can use the phone that you've already got and obviously any camera that you use to take photos to geotag those photos. First things first, you, you need an app for your smartphone. Uh, the one I use for iPhone is called Trax. There's a free version of it. It works really well. I'd recommend that one. There's plenty of equivalents for Android and other smartphones. When you're out taking photos, you need to make sure your phone's app is recording your GPS all the time. This is the, the route that my app tracked. You also need to make sure that the clock on your camera and the clock on your phone are exactly the same, otherwise they won't sync up properly. And when you're done, you need to export the .gpx file to your computer. This is the GPX file that my iPhone app collected. It's basically a log of all your GPS coordinates along with the time. And the way it works is it matches up the times of the GPS coordinates with the times that your photos were taken to work out what position each photo was taken in. You could go through the log yourself and match them up uh, one at a time, but Lightroom makes it a lot easier for you and uh, matches them all at once and plots them on the map for you. So here's some photos from a quick trip I took up in the Peak District. So there's some around sunset and then some at dusk and then some light trails and some star photography later on in the evening. So they're all selected in, in a folder in, in the library module of Lightroom 4 uh, and we're going to go over to the map module. It's new in Lightroom 4. Okay, so all my photos are at the bottom and we've got an empty map in front. And what you need to do now is get the app on your phone to export a .gpx file. If you go to my blog, there's instructions on how to do this using the iPhone Tracks app. And I'm sure whatever app you use, it's, it's still very easy to do. But first of all, in Lightroom, we're going to load the .gpx file. That mine's on my desktop. There is session.gpx. I'm going to load that into Lightroom 4. Okay, and very quick, it, it's, it's, it's plotted that on the map within Lightroom 4. To plot the photos onto the map, we need to select all the photos in the film strip. Uh, so I use Command A on Apple or Control A on Windows. And then go to, go to the track log icon and then auto tag selected photos. And very quickly, it will tag the GPS locations onto the photos and show them on the map. So it's grouped them together in two sets at the moment. If we zoom in, it will show it will split them up into, into more accurate locations. And then if we hover over a location, it will show which photos were taken at that location. You'll notice that the photos have now got a, a pin icon on them which shows that they have got a GPS coordinate attached to the metadata. And if you look over in the metadata panel on the right, you'll see a GPS tag on there as well. I'm going to export a photo and take it to Flickr and see what happens. Okay, so I uploaded one of my photos to Flickr. Um, and when I click Add this photo to Map, It says your camera has suggested that your photo was taken in this location. You can accept this location or move your photo elsewhere. So it's picked up the GPS data in the meta tag and added it to the map on Flickr. Um, so that's that's looking exactly the same as the map on Lightroom. So I'm going to save location, and that's saved. Thanks for watching. Find out more, including step-by-step -step screenshots at my blog egnaphotography.co.uk slash blog uh, also follow me on twitter uh, go and like my facebook page and add me on flickr